This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 29. And thou shalt grope at noonday as a blind rope in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. All right, shout out to one, We would like to start off by giving our unic buried to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah, by Shem, Kapodash, double honors to our apostles of great millstone, Ruel, and peace and blessings to the house of David the elect. I was a hive to my left. Hey, Yashima. Hey, and what we just read was Deuteronomy 28, chapter in the 29th verse. 29th verse. And what I wanted to highlight was where it says that thou shalt grow up in a new day. Okay? Because what, what that means in the spirit, all right, like the other apostle broke down, okay? When you grow in, you're feeling for something like a blind person. But it says grow up in a new day. So why do you have to feel for something like a blind person in a new day? Because you're mentally lost. So when you're groping, you're actually coping, okay? You're coping you're, uh, because of your current situation, man, all right? And the elect are not exempt from that. But if you look in the world, Jake on a job, every minute, every chance he gets, he goes and take a 15-minute cigarette break. When he gets off work, Jake gets high. Jake gets those Coronas. If you look in a, a, the blue-collar industry, a lot of Jakes have big stomachs, man, because as soon as they go home, they hit those uh butt watches, man, those coronas, those Miller lights, man. All right, and they sit in front of a TV and watch a sport, man. All right, and they'll leave work and they'll get these, these processed food, these so-called comforts food, man. Just groping, man. Jake all eating honey buns at the snack machine. Jake acting like an animal towards women. All right, because ultimately you're oppressed, man. And when you get frustrated, all your drives and impulses are heightened, man. That's how Israel is. When they're oppressed, they overdo everything, man. All right. And the, 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 this is the definition from Coke. All right. And this is uh from Marion Webster. And it says to deal with and attempt to overcome problems and difficulties often used with uh learning to cope with the demands of her schedule, just an example. Yeah. You know, and, and the reason why we're bringing this out this spirit of how about some outside, because brothers are doing too much, man. And we don't, we're not talking about no particular brother, but we know how the spirit is in Israel, man. Hey, brothers, brothers drink too much. Brothers eat too much. Uh, brothers, they go out and do too much because they're groping. They're pent up all week. And then they go out and they're just, they're like a bull and it's loose. Mm -hmm. And then you, you use certain scriptures in error to justify your own impulses, man. Real quick, get that in Sirach, where it says a simple man would not be reproved. Uh -huh. We find an excuse. You use you pull out certain scriptures in a in a word to justify you basically ruining yourself, man. All right, look at the result of what you're doing and see if that's really what the Most High is saying when it, these scriptures are written, man. Look at the result of what you're doing when you read scriptures that justify drinking or justify eating. I get my say bodily ex exercise, profit of little. Yeah. Now you don't do no workout. Yeah. You know, you know, all you do is eat and sleep. Yeah. And you right. use the scripture to justify it. Or the scriptures talk about much studying, you know, so now you don't do no study. <laughs> yeah, man. You know? You lack context, man. Like the, the lesson we did last week, you lack context. But anyway, you just really justify being a nigga, man. Yep. All right? This is uh, Sirach 32 and 17. It says, a sinful man would not be reproved. But find it an excuse according to his will. Yeah, find an excuse. And that excuse is you misreading those Bible scriptures, man. You misreading the word to justify your will, man. Yep. Or justify not doing your will. Yep. All right? Or not making a move. Because yeah, how about Sweet outside? He's forging winners out of this truth, man. Yep. He doesn't want men that that's cursing out Babylon, but throughout the day-to-day -day basis. They're consuming Babylon to being cope with Babylon. Go ahead. They're being overtaken. You're being overtaken by Babylon. Heroin, you know, it's like you you be rocking by a bow in the spirit, man. Yeah. You know, but yeah. then behind the scenes, Babylon is defeating you, man. Babylon is, is, is it's hitting you with all type of combinations, man. You got all types of wine and liquor bottles all in your house. All right. You got you got a horrible diet, okay? And you got all these situations with females. It's it's running into walls because you, you're using everything but the word is your comforter. Mm -hmm. See, when it says in Deuteronomy 28 chapter and the 29th verse, that thou should grow up in a noonday, 
We weren't exempt from that. Mm -hmm. We catch a head of just like the, the rest of the nation of Israel. But what makes the elect different? Because they use all these external things, these carnal things to cope with their situation. And we use the word, man. Yeah. Not that we're deep, not that we don't eat food or we don't drink liquor. We're tempered in those things. Yeah. But our main coping mechanism is the word, man. Word. Get on the word. A lot of brothers came into this truth and they was 100 percent into wisdom. But as time progressed, we you fell into the temptation of letting Babylon be your coping mechanism, man. Yep. All right. Yeah, that's not the only outlet, man. Yeah. You know, like the brother's saying, man, you gotta be tempered in those things. <coughs> Nothing wrong with drinking. Be no. tempered, man. Uh -huh. Scripture talk about moderation, man. You know, and then uh, 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 uh women, nothing wrong with women, yeah. be tempered, man. And then sometimes you gotta hit the pause button, man. You just gotta fall back, man, and really get into the spirit, man. You know, yeah. we can't live like uh, uh, you can't, we can't be in the truth and then have a YOLO spirit, man. We got yeah. eternity coming, man. Yeah. You know, so why I feel like we got to uh, uh, have a bucket list like like these people in the world, man. Uh, you gotta ask yourself, man. Do you still believe in the kingdom? You gotta ask yourself that do I still but like what are the tokens that I believe that I got a kingdom coming for me, man? Because obviously you're not sacrificing anything anymore. And it's easy to fall into that temptation over a period of time. Yep. But you have to ask yourself, do I still believe in the kingdom? Because no amount of food will ever satisfy you. No amount of money will literally ever satisfy you. No amount of women, more women are not gonna fix your problem, man. No. You got to go to the co the culprit, the source, man. Yep. And it, it's, the, it's the spirit. It's the truth. I got a precept for you. All right, go ahead. It's Ecclesiastes 1 and 8. All things are full of labor. Yep. Man cannot utter it. Yep. The eye is not satisfied with seeing, yep. nor the ear filled with hearing. Yeah, the eye is not satisfied with seeing. So these things that you're groping for, these little cushions that you're groping for in Babylon, you would it would never fulfill you, man. And you and you'll never be satisfied, and you always you gonna always want some more money. Yep. You're gonna always be looking for more women. Yep. You're gonna always want some more liquor. Yep. You know, you're gonna always all right, uh, 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 uh seek to please that flesh, man. And I know I said I've been way off balance, man, in the spirit, man. And I had to catch myself like damn, you know, I had to look at myself like shit, you know. And that's the realization you got to come to, man. But if you can't be honest with yourself, if you can't, you know, take advice, you know, from 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 brothers telling you directly, or you know, it's, it's been sometimes I done heard another brother's lesson, mm -hmm. you know, brother I never met before, yep, man. Yep, you know, yep. and, and he would say something. I know that how shy wanted me to hear this, man. And that's how you know that brother's not being subjective. Yep. Cause you could, if that brother tell you account, you might have a demon on you. Be like, he just saying that because that's how that brother is. Yeah. But you got a whole brother from Nebraska get on you, and he don't even know you. It's the spirit, man. All right, you gotta accept that's the spirit, man. At the end of the day, take an L, man. We have to show that we we sacrifice something for the kingdom, man. What are you sacrificing for the kingdom, man? Yeah, no. All right, go ahead. Brother. This is Book of Matthew, chapter eleven. Uh. Verse, I get to the point. Verse eighteen, yep. it said, "For John came neither eating nor drinking, yep. and they say he hath the devil. The son of man came eating and drinking. They say, behold, a man gluttonous and a wine bibber, a friend of publicans and sinners. Yep. But wisdom is justified for children. Yeah, ahead, you know. Down. So going into the context of the scripture, Yahweh Shai was was referring to." What people said about John the Baptist that he had a devil. Did he have a devil? No, man. All right. So then he went to uh saying what Israel was saying about him. He's a gluttonous and a wine builder. That means he was gluttonous. Did that mean that he was gluttonous and the wine builder, man? You know, to the extent that they were trying to make it? No, man. You know how Jake talked, man. Jake exaggerate, man. You know, so at the end of the day, how was shy? You know, wasn't breaking down the scrolls in his left hand, then have a big huge gun in the right hand, man, with the with the blood of the grapes dripping down his beard, man. You know, and then it, it basically it makes you useless, man. We're basically vessels. Yeah. So if, you, if this vessel is always wasted, I can't pick up this vessel and, and, and plow in the father's house, yeah. in the husbandry, man. And basically going back to that scripture, a nigga gonna always have something to say about a man of the Lord, man. 
It's basically what they're saying, man. They're going to always have something to say about us. But a lot of brothers use that scripture to justify, look, your house I ate and drank, it was a yeah. July. Yeah. But here you are using that, and you eat all type of Babylonian processed garbage, and you got all types of, you're developing all types of health problems, man. We're telling you from experience, man, you have to go against the grain to stay afloat in Babylon, man. Yeah. You have to, when I say against the grain, I mean, hey, you got to drink water, man. Drink water, eat healthier, have some type of workout regimen. Have some self-restraint. Have some, you don't have to do all, all because you got enough money to kill yourself with your pleasures. That don't mean you actually do it, man. Brothers be drinking two, three beers at one time, man. Like, what, like, what are you, what are you covering, man? And we're not attacking brothers. Every brother had their own spirit. But a lot of you, man, you, you're just doing too much, man. Yeah, no, no break, man. It's no break. And brothers should have to come and save you all the time. Or brothers should have to hear this, oh, shit, we got it too now. Yeah. You know, hey, we got, hey, what makes us different from guys in the world, man? That we use our wisdom. We use the word as our main uh, coping mechanism, man. All right. This is 1 Corinthians 6 and 19. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, yeah. which ye have of the Most High, and ye are not your own. And you are not your own, man. And going back to our body as a temple, you got to be careful what you feed your spirit, man. All right? Because your five senses are basically avenues for your spirit, man. So if you look, hey, you, you should be able to understand when you under got a demon on you, man. Yeah. If you always of uh, pleasing your flesh and, and the spirit is pushing up forth the background, you probably got a demon on you. If you always listen to trap music, everything is always trap, is always going out, is always Keisha Eve, is always in BS. You always pleasing your flesh, man. But the the, the the your 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 spiritual obligation is pushed to the background. You probably under a spiritual attack, man. Yeah. And you're not gonna know you're under a spiritual attack until you, the demon is off of you, man. You know. Verse twenty. It said, "For you are brought with a price. Therefore, glorify the Most High in your body and in your spirit, which are the, the Most Highs, man." Hey, and, and what's wrong with having our own culture, man? Yep. What's wrong with Israel culture? Yeah. We could drink. We could eat, we could deal with women, but we're just not no freaking monsters. Yeah. We cool. Yeah. Israel cool. We don't have to be all wild, man. Yeah, we don't live for that, man. Well, that's not our life. Yeah, we don't live for that. <coughs> we can't, we, we not count down to Friday night and Saturday night yeah. where we can go, all right, and chase Keisha around the club. Man. Yeah. All right, well, well, we can get drunk out of our mind, man. Mm. You know, we, we don't count those things down, man. You know? We enjoy the we enjoy the brotherhood. We enjoy the ministry. You know, just like this live screen, man. We enjoy all right, uh, edifying the body. You know, the body edifying us. You know, brothers participating, putting up scriptures. You know, that's that's the that's the thing that we live for, man. You know, because that's your house shot dwelling within us, man. But if you always if you always uh, uh, uh through, you know, or you always got a uh, 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 appointment. You know, who the damn woman, then you, now you becoming useless, man. And we're not telling you how to deal with women. How many, like, brothers gonna deal with their woman? A brother, a man is a man. Yeah. But you got a schedule. Yeah. That gotta happen outside this schedule, man. You gotta have a spiritual structure, man. Yeah, a spiritual structure. You know, those things come whenever they come, however they come, man. Yeah. And everybody's different, man. You know, some brothers might go months without dealing with a woman, man. Yeah. You know, some brothers might go weeks, some brothers uh, uh, every other day, however it go, man. Yeah. You know, that's 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 according to your spirit, man. But all that's around, all that's outside of your spiritual structure. Yep. Yeah. You know? Uh, I want to, hey, you was going to get something? No, I'm going to Hey, First Timothy 4 and 8. Okay. Well, that's another scripture. But, hey, man, look. The, the word doesn't... Talk about exercising all the time and eating a certain way all the time because we weren't in a Babylonian captivity. We, we weren't in Babylon the Great when the prophecies was written and when the word was written, when the book of Proverbs and Ecclesiastes was written. So you don't see a hundred scriptures about your health, man. But in this particular setup, you want to give extra attention to your health, man. If the elder apostles are giving attention to their health, how much more are we as disciples, man? We as students under the elder apostles, man. Because a lot of you brothers, y'all are not health conscious in the spirit, man. What I mean by that, 
We're not telling brothers to be Dr. Savy. We're not telling brothers to go vegan. But a lot of brothers, they main diet is PS. Mm-hmm. And it's only a certain period of time where your body's going to break down, man. All right, go ahead, bro. This first Timothy uh, 4 and 8. It said for body, bodily exercise, properly. And we bring it out because a brother uses it to justify not exercising yeah. or not eating healthy. Yeah. And profits little compared to getting the, the kingdom. Yeah. And going back to um, we 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 run we we do this for an incorruptible crown and yeah. do it for a corruptible crown. Yeah. That's what they're saying. Yeah. But in this setup, you want to give heed to what you're putting into your temple, man. Yeah. Because this is the first empire where the Food is poison. Yeah. So now nah, you have to give extra heat because that's going to determine your energy level when you teach it. In this, in this, in this, in this setup, in this truth, man, you're either going to be a brother that got high energy or he has vitality, or you're going to be that brother that's always drained, always tired, you know, always got a hangover. It's, it, it's, 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 you could be either two type of brothers, man. All right. This is uh, back in... Uh, First Timothy four and eight. It said, "For bodily exercise profits little, but godliness is profitable unto all things, having promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come." And yeah, and we're not here to be no, no nigga lights, man. We're not here to be guys that keep the laws, but we have no spirituality about us, no temperance, no discipline about us. So we're just basically like Elder Yashua woman said, uncouth niggas, man. That's probably being a godly life, man, having a simple, peaceful life. Hey, you just you kind of low-key with it, man. All right? But like I said, bodily exercise, profit of little compared to getting the kingdom. Yeah. But brothers have, to, brothers have to take heed to that. And we're, and we're saying these things out of love so brothers can have a balanced life. Out of love and experience, man. Love and experience. Yeah. Yep. You don't think we had a trial and error, man. Yep. You don't think we made some decision like, why the fuck did I do that? Yep. How the hell did I get here? And the spirit gonna let you know. You, it, it, it's some things the uh, 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 brothers shouldn't have to say because the spirit is telling you, man. The Lord will have you. You make a wrong decision based on on the flesh. Look at the outcome, man. That's the Lord telling you, man. Directly, man. Look, look at the situation you you in a horrible situation, you know, because of the decision that you made, man. And I, me personally, I done been through that, man. You know, I was like, damn, all because I thought with the flesh, you know, this was this was the results of me thinking with the flesh, you know, when I should have thought more in the spirit, man, you know, so we in this thing to, to live and learn, you know, and that's why the apostle elders are elders, because you can imagine the experiences that they have, man. When you when we looking at the apostle and elders, we're looking at the outcome of 30, 35, 25 years, 20 years of men enduring Babylon, all right, and staying rooted within the word, man, staying temperate, man. You see? Yeah. You know, hey, 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 that's a beautiful, and, and sometimes you don't even have to go through the experiences yourself because we're yeah. going to tell you from our experiences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like some of the things that, uh, some of the things that I haven't gone through because I sat there and listened to the apostles. Even like admonitions that, you know, yep. I, I didn't have to walk through it because I just listened to them. Yep, yep, yep. But even with you brothers, man, I, 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 I shoot for a lot of newer brothers, man. Some of these decisions y'all don't have to make because we telling you, man. We telling you, you will never have enough women. You will never be happy outside of the word, man. So you might as well get all that lustful stuff out of your mind and use the words as your main coping mechanism, man. Uh, all right. This is a... Uh, Sirach 30 and 15, because one thing about the scriptures, you know, <coughs> a spiritual man to say, well, the scriptures contradict each other, you know, or, 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 or they'll say, you know, uh, the, 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 some, I believe some of the Bible, you know, because uh-huh. they believe the parts that agree with their flesh, man, uh-huh. with their emotion, you know, but one thing about the scriptures, it just say one is scream and then they say, Another screen, like it's two different polarities, but really it's the balance. It's the balance. You, it, this, it's, this is one precept balancing out this precept, uh-huh. so you don't be too far either way, man. Uh, be not over righteous, be not over wicked. Yeah, because there's gonna be some points where you gotta hey, feed yourself, man, feed your flesh. Yeah, but there's not to be a demon. Yeah, but hey, sometimes you gotta hey, watch yeah. a movie, drink yeah. some wine, hey, go oh, to a bar. Yeah, step out. You know, so, change the scenery. Yeah. No, there's nothing wrong with that, man. Yeah. But when you live for that. That's America. <laughs> now you're a Babylonian. Yeah. When you live for the flesh, you're a Babylonian, man. Yeah. 
right. This is uh, Sarah 30 and uh, 15. It said, health and good state of body. No, I'm starting at 14. Yeah. It said, better is the poor being sound and a strong uh, uh, and strong of constitution than a rich man that is afflicted in his body. Now, most brothers in this truth are classified as poor, man, because my income level is, if you're not a billionaire, you're poor, all right? So it's better to be, but you can control your health. You can control it. You're going to run a day or go jog and hit the treadmill and do some push-ups. Because yep. at least at least your, your temple is okay. At least your physical, mental, spiritual well-being is on point, man. Yep. You know? First 15. Health and good estate of body are above all gold and a strong body above infinity wealth. And, and we'll harp it on this through the spirit because obviously in this setup, man, you how about some how shot? Wants us to be in a certain spirit of purity, man. He wants us to eat a certain way. He wants us to take care of our temple so we can be in tune with him, man. He wants to. He wants us to be pleased with him, man. Yeah. Imagine if your woman, you know, was going to some outside source outside of you to be cheered up, man. Yeah. How would you feel, man? Uh -huh. You know, and that's how the Lord feels when you uh go past him or go around him and continue to go to all these different mechanisms to cope, you know. But don't lock in with him, man. Yep, yep. And that's so fear. That's wisdom. That's even from a woman's perspective. If a woman got a husband, but the husband never there, he gets happiness from somewhere else. Yeah, she gonna feel some type of way. Yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. We gotta go back to our first love. The first six months she was in this truth, and you was like this. You know, you gotta get back to that, man. So you gotta go back to the basics. Yep. You know this. Um. Uh, Verse 16 said, there is no riches above a sound body and no joy above the joy of the heart, man. Yep. You know, and then our main joy has to come within your house, shot, man. Because, yeah. matter of fact, uh, drinking, why are you drinking, man? Are you drinking the Coke, you know, because Babylon is overwhelming you or you got situations or you drinking because prophecy is taking place? Because you married, man, yeah. you know, yeah. because you, you we, because your faith is increasing. Are you drinking because of it, man? You know, are you, uh, 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 are you drinking the Coke, man, and try to mask what's going on on the inside, man? Because drinking is external, man. See, we need to be, we, our joy needs to come from within, man. You know, without a bottle, without a woman. You know, if if, if I go to the bar and the woman, if that woman look my way, man, you know, I'm still got the joy within. You know, uh -huh. if I just come drink a beer too and leave, my joy still is within, man. That's how we should be, man. Not because uh, uh, you got chose up, man. Which, like I say, yeah, the flesh going the scripture tell you how, you know, a, a beautiful woman cheered the count yeah, countenance, yeah. you know. But at the same time, that shouldn't be, all right, uh, uh, something we should hang our head down if that don't happen. Because what's the, what's the real beautiful woman that cheered yeah. the countenance? <laughs> yeah. Because they did not say wisdom making the man face the side. Yeah. So the real, although in the flesh, you know, an attractive woman does do that. But hey, wisdom, hey, that's that beautiful woman that make it to face the uh, the truth the countless as well, man. Yeah. So what the brother said, man, you gotta know how to be happy without all the, the fleshly status, the fleshly desires, man. All right. It says, um, I'm gonna jump to 22. It said, the gladness of the heart is the life of man and the joyfulness of a man prolonging his days, man. Yeah. Because we understand what's going on, man. We have this wisdom. We have this knowledge, man. The Lord constantly showing us that he's dealing with us, man. He constantly showing us this is the right way. Keep going, man. You know, we constantly seeing the signs, man. The words that we're speaking through the spirit and power we have by Shema Shai are coming to pass, man. Huh. You see, the our value is increasing, man. We don't have to be validated by this world, man. We don't need we don't need no status. We don't need no attention from these people, man. All right, that, that's not what we're here for, man. Uh, you know. So, uh, and it says, "Love thy own soul and comfort thy heart. Remove sorrow far from thee, uh, for sorrow have killed many, and there is no profit therein, man." Uh, and also, you can drink, but guess what? That sorrow gonna be there when you sober. Uh, you know. They, they ain't no escaping it, man. But see, how a shot can heal your sorrow, you know, and it, it, and, 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 and it's it's uh, uh, uh it's not gonna be temporal, man. You know, the Lord when the Lord heals you, it's not temporal, man. 
You know, you still have different things that you go through, but you'll never be at that low point, man. Mm-hmm. All right? You'll never be sunken in, man. You won't be overwhelmed, man. You know, because your joy is generated from within, man, not from situation external, man. Your joy will be internal. Because all those things are failure. Yeah. The sweets, too, eat too many sweets, your body will break down. Too much liquor, your body will break down. Women will, are fickle, and they're here today, gone next week. So, like, all the stuff you put joy in in the flesh is is it, 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 it's to no avail. Yeah. I'm going to get this closing scripture unless you have something else. No, that was it. Uh... Second Timothy two and three says I'm already in and I get it. Okay. All right, thou therefore in, endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. So and we to go to verse four. No man that warth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. And but the point is, thou therefore endure hardness. So we got to get into that spirit of endure, man. Suck it up. If you have a shot, was sitting here tell us the man up. What the what did the most I tell Job? Mm-hmm. Gird your lawns like a man. In so many words, the most I cursed out Job. Yeah. Man a man your ass up. Yeah. And that's how that's how the most I what does it say? He grew 12, whom the Lord loved, he chastened. And that's that's what how Father's deal with his son, man. He pushed you through them challenges and tell, tell your butt to uh toughen up, man. Yeah, up, man. Ty, you this brother's a football coach, man. I know you were no soft coach. You know what I'm saying? I, I know you were an asshole, but you pushed them young men. Yep. And now a lot of them guys, they uh decent athletes, man. Mm-hmm. But that's how you deal with men. And that's how you deal with the elect, man. You put you, he pushes you through circumstances and he pushes you. Uh-huh. But you're not being pushed if you sit to the side killing yourself, man. Mm-hmm. All right. I got um, uh, I'm gonna get the quick one from the brother Yasha YG. Mm-hmm. This James 4 and 7 says, submit yourself, therefore, to the most high. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Yep. Draw nigh to the most high and he will draw nigh to you. Yep. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double minded. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. Man. Yep. That's you know? beautiful. So we humble ourselves in the sight of the Lord. He gonna lift us up, man. And I, can't reiterate enough, ain't nothing like that draw from within, within the hour shot, man. Because yeah. yep. nothing external can affect it, man. Because there's nothing yep. like seeing a prophecy take place on, on CNN or Fox News and you happy. Yep. That's nothing can, you know, you can't buy that. Yep. But we're going to draw this lesson to a closing that you have any more closing statements. That was it, bro. And with that, we're going to give all honor and glory to Yahweh by Shrem Yahweh Shah, by Shrem Kakudash, that will honor our apostles of great millstone, we will. Peace and blessed to the house of David the elect. Till the next time, shall we